Hello guys, um, this is X here, and today, I've got a question for you. How far would you go to protect your Xbox 360 console, or Xbox One console? Well, this kid, um, went a little extreme, and this is my new series called Weird News, and I'm gonna be finding some weird news stories for you guys, and I'm gonna be telling you about them, because I figure, you know, it brightens up my day to, here's some, you know, unusual things, like, just to learn, you know, and I figured that maybe you guys would like like to hear or maybe, you know, just get informed about what's going on out there, and usually all the normal news stories and all that don't report this stuff, but I'm gonna, so let's get down to business. This kid apparently got in a fight with his buddy, and in, in the fight, stabbed himself with a butter knife. That's right, a butter knife. And basically what was going on was one kid was 12, the other was 13, and what happened was the 12 year old accused the 13 year old of stealing his console, his Xbox 360 console, or Xbox One, I don't know, but they didn't get specifics, but um, it was a, I guess it was a lot of money, I would get mad about it too if someone took my Xbox console, but um, what really, like, so they got into a loud argument, and what happened was, one ended up pulling out a butter knife. That's right. I, I can't emphasize that enough. A butter knife. And he... I guess he was threatening with him with it or something. He was like doing something. But the 12 year old quickly tried to grab it from the 13 year old's hand. And when he tried to grab it, accidentally stabbed himself in the stomach. Now I don't know quite how you can do that without really realizing what you're doing. I mean... Maybe you could hit the hand a little too fast, but he stabbed himself in the stomach. And I don't know where the kid's parents were, or any adult supervision whatsoever, I don't know. But, um, that's just not right. <laughs> but, um, he went and told his aunt, and his aunt quickly rushed him to the hospital. They said he was in stable condition, and he would be able to stay. Uh, stay conscious, you know, all that good stuff. And, um... He, basically, he was alright. It was just a small puncture wound. I will put a link in the article so you guys can read it if you want, but, or a link to the article. But, um, you know, yeah, it was interesting. The kid that um, had the butter knife admitted to it, and he's having some juvenile charge pressed against him, so, you know, um, I guess some justice is getting done. And, uh, you know, yeah, but, um, that's pretty interesting, I guess. It's, it's a good news story, but he stabbed himself with a butter knife. Like, I don't get that, but, you know, whatever. So, juvenile charges, blah, blah, blah. I went through all that with you guys. Um, the kid, the kid is uh, doing great. I guess he got his Xbox console back. I don't know if it was officially stolen, but I'm assuming he got it back if it was. And the kid did receive... I think this was pretty funny. He did receive a PlayStation the week before so you know well whatever but uh they said this was a quiet neighborhood and the kid was a good kid so um they didn't really expect him to uh you know do something like that they said uh, the only time he'd come out of his house would be you know to ride his bike or to um you know just get mail or something i guess but they said he was a good kid watched um you know TV like any other kid, stayed out of trouble, didn't have any beef with anyone, and I guess he just liked his video games, and one person said this was because video games influence violence, I'm a strong disbeliever in that, I do not believe video games influence violence, like, I believe it's, um, just the way you think about things, really, like, say I wanted to steal a chicken wing or something from KFC, that's just what I'm coming up with, would I do it because I saw it in a video game? I'm thinking no, I wouldn't, because I think this is real life. I can't do that, but, you know, whatever. It's, I guess that's what you think about it. But anyways, um, this has been a weird news story. I hope to have plenty more coming out on this channel. If you want to stay tuned for more, please subscribe. That would do me a huge favor. You know, like the video, up let your friends see it. Get them in on the weird news. And, um... You know, I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. 
And like I said before, there will be more of these, so, you know, leave a comment if you have any good weird news stories you want me to check out and report on. And I uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll ABC ya.